Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm 16, and this is my first film. So I don't expect too much technical brilliance. I started doing this as a sort of video diary. So my uncle lent me his video camera, which is what I'm recording this on, and I kind of got attached to it. Actually, attached is a bit of an understatement. I started shooting everything that went on in my life. Everything. I was planning on doing something about the weirdness of so-called normal family life. Like the way my dad always had to watch his program in his chair, no matter what. <laughs> Hello, my baby. <laughs> That's mum. And this is Alex. He was an apprentice chef, which meant we all had to be very appreciative of the meals he cooked. Mm. Even when he trashed the kitchen. Alex had heaps of energy. He was cool. And I totally, totally trusted him. Your eek. Which is how come I lent him the $100 I got for my birthday. Because I knew he'd pay it back. And that's where this film stops being an amusing home video and turns into, well, you'll see. Alex! Enter. Where was I? Speaker box. What are you doing? It's the alphabeticalization of my CD collection. But should I follow it by title or artist? That's the question. Whatever. I need my hundred bucks. So do you have it? No. Alex, I told you I'm going shopping after netball. What time is that? Nine. Nine? Oh. oh. Alex, how long oh. have you been up? Holy. You better not let Mum and Dad see you like this. Like what? Out of it. I'm not out of it. I'm onto it. You can I'm play onto... rugby this afternoon. Yeah, well, I can play. It's cool. Look, just meet me at the courts at 11.30 and we'll go to an ATM and get some money out. Okay. Okay. It's under control. I love you, sis. And I believed him, because he was Alex, and I was dumb enough to think he could control it. It? I mean P. The real name for it's methamphetamine, but it's got loads of others. There's pure, ice, crank, blow. I'm a walking encyclopedia on the stuff now, but back then I didn't have a clue. I just knew that Alex was taking something after work at the restaurant and it was to help him stay up and party all night. The way he put it, it was just an occasional thing and Alex wasn't dumb enough to get addicted. Right. I know I'm leaping ahead here, but I think you should see this. It's Alex, seven weeks later. Please, Sophie. Please. I'm your brother. Help me. Please, I'll pay you back. You know I will. I'm your brother. Don't... Don't look at me like that. I decided to do this film because it was the only way I could deal with what happened to Alex. And I thought that maybe I could stop it from happening to someone else's brother or sister. I know you're probably thinking, not me or anyone I know. Yeah, well, I used to think that too. Also, I just wanted to understand why people messes people up so badly. And what you can do if someone you love is hooked. So I decided to talk to some people who knew what they were on about. Like this guy. He's a clinical psychologist. So I'll let him explain what happens to you when you take pee. 
The thing with methamphetamine use is that you get the initial rush and it's huge and it's powerful and that's why people take the drug for that initial rush. But the thing is that when that passes, it leaves a lot of stuff in its wake. It's doing some particular thing to your brain that can affect you in all kinds of different ways. It can affect your heart rate, it can make people feel like their skin is itchy and things are crawling all over it, people don't sleep, they don't eat properly, your sexual drive and sexual performance can be affected. Um, people can become paranoid, they hear voices. Um, and with some drugs, pe paranoia can last for a short amount of time. With this stuff, it lasts for weeks. So one in three people who take methamphetamines develop a, a, a form of psychosis from taking the drug. I didn't know it at the time, but that Saturday morning, Alex had already been up for two days. And he badly needed to crash. Problem was, he had to start for that rugby game. Which kind of explains what happened next. Sophie! So... Tell us about yourself, Jazz. What are your ambitions? Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> Probably still waiting for Alex to show up in the story. That's him. Ask us if we wait. Alex, what are you doing? Meet someone. Who? None of your business. Cool stereo. Alex, no. you better not be spending my money. Stop whining about your money, you spoiled little bitch! That's all you care about! OK, so now you think I'm completely delusional about Alex being cool, but can I just say that it was not the Alex I knew, and it freaked me out. It was almost like some other person had climbed inside his skin. Alex, please, can we just go? You don't have to do this. Do what? He's scoring P. P? Have you ever tried it, Jess? Uh, no. And she's not going to because she's not a complete loser like you. Do you think I'm a loser, Jess? No. So you want to try it? The first time's unbelievable. Ah, uh, I don't know. Your choice. But you've got to try everything once. Oh, that's such bullshit. Sophie, it's not like I'm going to turn into a complete drug addict if I just try it once. Yes, well, let's get a second opinion on that. So here's the thing with P, and this is why P is particularly nasty in terms of the addictive stuff. What P does is it stimulates a huge release of this stuff called dopamine into your brain, and dopamine makes your brain go, whoa, that's great. The thing is though, all this dopamine goes rushing in and your brain, because it corrects, corrects the wave, says right, let's get rid of all the dopamine. So it sends in enzymes, gets rid of all of that stuff, but it sucks it all out. Then you feel as bad as you've ever felt. You know, the tide goes out a long way. And so just as you have that initial burst at the beginning, the crash is particularly hard and heavy and long with methamphetamine use. So you're not just feeling down, your whole life aches after this stuff goes away. And you think, maybe if I just have this one little hit, that's all I need just to pop me back up into the zone again and then I'll feel better. And you take another bit and the hole gets deeper. And every time you take it, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper. You know, the only reason Jazz hung out with me is because she had a total crush on Alex. She was shit scared of smoking pee, but she did it just to show him how cool she was, which as far as I'm concerned is totally pathetic. Nobody was forcing her to take it. It was her choice. She could have got out of the car and walked home with me, but she didn't. She stayed and made the decision to smoke pee based on the information from an addict. How dumb is that? If I'd known then what I know now, maybe I wouldn't have bought Alex's bullshit about having it under control. But it is hard to know what to say or do, especially when it's someone you really love. So I've booked an appointment with a youth line counsellor to get some advice. Timing will be important when you're talking to your brother. You know, you don't want to catch him when he's running out the door or when he's high because it might trigger stuff off in him. But wait till you're alone and together and be ready to suggest maybe him talking to someone he can trust, like an adult, someone in the community, a family, friend, or a service he can contact, like Youthline or CADS, which specialise in this kind of area. 
and it's important for you too that you have people that are supporting you. So someone like the Youthline Telephone Helpline is available 24 hours, 7 days a week and they'll just be there to support you in your journey through this. And know that at the end of the day, ultimately, he makes his own choices. But having you there, walking the journey with him, is a great support. There's a lot of information online about P. These are some of the effects of P Alex failed to mention. Agitation, reckless or violent behaviour, convulsions, anxiety, confusion. And that's just for starters. The more you use, the worse it gets. Insomnia, repetitive behaviour, mental health problems, rotten teeth, damage to organs. And here's the really sick bit. Hardcore pee users often feel that there's insects crawling under their skin, so they claw at themselves to try and get them out. Here's something else I found on the net. These are before and after shots of meth addicts I found on a US site. Maybe she took it the first time to impress someone. Perhaps he thought you had to try everything once too. I wish I could have shown Alex the stuff. I made him promise to stop before things got too bad. But what happened that afternoon meant I didn't get a chance. Well, here I am talking to my best friend, the camera. Well, my brother and so-called friend are off their head on P. What am I supposed to do? I love Alex, but he really scared me. I hate this shit. Mum and Dad would kill him if they knew he was on P. Alex would kill me if I told them. Can't believe he's doing this. Am I overreacting? I don't think I'm overreacting. Alex, what's happening? Get after me! Who? Take I'm this. not touching that! It's the cops. It's, it's the cops. They're telling me I'm here. Where is he? I. Um. Oh, Dad, don't! Get out of here now! No way! I said now! What's happened get to him? Get, get up! Get off me! Get off me! Stop it! Get up! Get up! Stop it! Get out of me! Alex, get, no! Get, get, get off me! You get off me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dave, no! No! You were right. You said you were just going to talk to him! Well, how the hell was I supposed to do that? You saw him! He's off his head! Oh my god! What's he on? Oh! Look, Sophie, turn that bloody thing off, eh? By the time the cops turned up, I think Mum and Dad had gone into shock. They couldn't get their heads around what had happened. Apparently, Alex had laid into some guy on the rugby field. Badly. He was in hospital. And the really insane thing was, he wasn't even on the other team. He was one of Alex's mates. The only way Mum could explain it oh, was that it wasn't really Alex. It was the P. She kept saying it over and over. I talked to some guys on Alex's team. A few of them knew he'd been using P, but they hadn't said anything. Because like me, they thought he'd have it under control. Yeah, I can't believe it, eh? Alex. He was always so cruisy. I hate that shit. If that's what P can do to a laid-back guy, I hate to think what it can do to a guy who's violent to start with. They've kicked him out of the club, hey? Yeah. The only good thing was that the guy got out of hospital the next day and didn't press charges. But the cops still wanted to talk to Alex for another reason. Jazz. She had a really bad reaction to that P. Her parents totally freaked out. They wanted the cops to charge Alex with supplying a Class A drug. I didn't even know what a Class A drug was, till one of the cops told me what it meant. The drug methamphetamine, more commonly known as ice, pure, burn or pee, is a Class A controlled drug. This means it's amongst the most serious type of drug offending. People convicted of Class A controlled drugs face hefty fines right up to terms of life imprisonment in New Zealand. Those wishing to travel abroad with Class A controlled drug convictions often find it difficult to gain entry into other countries nowadays quite simply because of those convictions. Persons with such drug convictions also face problems with future employment opportunities. This drug has devastated relationships, families, 
careers, not only for people who are actually using it, but for the loved ones, families and friends of those who are foolish enough to become involved with it. Alex didn't come home after that Saturday, except one day when we weren't here. He cleared his room out of everything he could sell. He ripped off our TV, our DVD, and all the stereos, mine included. Mum and Dad were going mental trying to find him, but none of his mates knew where he was. He lost his job, dropped out of tech. He texted me a few times. Don't worry, under control. We'll get your money soon. Kiss, kiss. Then he must have sold his phone to get more money for B. He sold his car too. But then one night when Mum and Dad were out, he turned up here. Alex? I hardly recognised him. Can I come in, Sof? Don't, don't tell Mum and Dad I'm here. Alex, they're freaking out. The cops have been round. I didn't mean to hurt her. So I don't, I don't know how it happened. How could you hit mum like that? I, I don't know. I don't know. You, you know I wouldn't do that, Sophie. Can I borrow some money, please? Just until my next pay. What pay? Alex, you lost your job. And you stole my stereo. I, I can get it back. I will get it back. I promise I will, so please, please. Please, if you just help me now, I can control it. Please, Sophie. Please. Don't look at me like that. I'm your brother. Don't look at me like... Don't look at me like that, Sophie. I'm your brother. Please, it's me. Please, Sophie, just help me. I would do anything to help Alex. Anything. But the only way he's going to get off pay it's the same way he got on. By making a choice. Alex used to be really strong willed. So maybe if he seriously wants to stop, he will. I don't know. One thing I do know is the only way people can be sure they won't get hooked is if they never try it. Not even once. But hey, it's your choice. I can see it in your eyes that you're addicted. I ain't gonna sit back as my people get convicted. Listen, there's only one thing that I want from you. Stay away from the...